Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Coco Bober, and today we will review in pictures from the last trip to the Italian arts. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, I got something for you. Join me as I dive into the world of photography and share my passion for capturing the beauty of the world. I will say these are some of the best pictures I took during our time on the Alps. And these first pictures you can see far away on the distance Cuba coming back from the hike, the human factor. This picture is very nice. As I was explaining in previous video, it was a tough ha hike. You can see the level of snow on his legs and the amount of snow on the mountains. This was already sunset time and we were rushing to be able to come back before the night goes down. With the low temperatures we were facing, it was pretty hard to place everything in conditions to make such a nice pictures, especially when the night was falling off, like on this one that you can see the moon, uh, full moon was rising behind the pines, pines and it was very uh, nice, uh, spectacle to see all the pines being light by the moon. We didn't have that much time as we were planning to go back to the van and be able to reach another city for the next day. On the next group of pictures you can see this foggy moment on the mountains that was very beautiful. Uh, I have this feeling like some of the Japanese engravings in which the fog and the landscape uh, gives a glimpse of the figure and the forms of the nature that make up the landscape around and that was like the, one of the rest points and later on was practically impossible to take the camera out as it was wind very hard wind and falling snow constantly uh, that was no point to just take the camera out <laughs> so chasing the good weather and different mountains in this area we end in this part, uh, the foggy morning, uh, the temperature was quite low that morning, but it was enough, good enough to hike around and see these green hills with a bit of snow at this uh, altitude. All the temperature of the forest coming up at the morning and warming up and creating this foggy mist between the valley, as you can see in this next pictures as soon as we hike up on the mountain early in the morning, we were able to see all the valley covered by this nice fog and the plan was maybe to reach a high mountain like the one that is in, you can see on this picture in front, on the background, but it was extremely hard and many people around the area recommended not to as the snow was not solid enough. You can see in this picture there was a nice moment of light coming through. You can see a bit down on the valley this the town let's say and this uh, little shelter covered by snow on the bottom left of the picture. This, this little uh, plants going out of the snow this give a nice touch at that moment and the composition and it gives some stabilization between this amount of snow on the bottom and the grey sky that we were having. But so probably this is one of the best that I like the most. I guess I have three in total on this trip that I really like them or probably four. Uh, I think this is one of them in which uh, you can see this magnitude of the person, the human against the nature especially in this like hike up <laughs> the hill that was uh, quite uh, with a big angle and required to use the tools to be able to go up like the mountain of the next day that it was practically close to a 90 degrees angle and that's, that's uh, that and like these high hard conditions of hiking making and having the both acts on the hands to be able to uh, hike up on the snow make 
rather difficult <laughs> to take the camera out of the backpack or even while I have it here hanging on my chest uh, still for instance was difficult to have a perfect balance or to have that moment to don't be worried enough to say oh that's a good moment to make the picture that was the case I needed to take but I lose like I don't know 10 minutes in those 10 minutes Cuba was already far so all the actions on the mountain needs to be quick well, this is other of the best sellers from this trip <laughs> let's say <laughs> I really like this picture these pictures remind me to the paint of uh, the artist the Sherman romantic artist Caspar David Friedrich uh, the one titled The Wonder the Wanderer on the Sea of Fog. Uh, I, I hope I pronounce it well. Uh, and it has a lot of this similitude. I, it's, it's, yes, it's a, a bit romantic, but I love it. Uh, so I guess it's twice romantic. So as I mentioned before, uh, the moment to take the camera out of the a pocket or just simple to grab it to be there and take the precise moment or be difficult because of the difficult conditions that mountains provide us as always this next two pictures are other of these ones that I like that much full scale of the human and against the nature and like on this one that Kuba is down the way once already spent a time on the top of the mountain and you can see the track of now that we were leaving behind it was like deep uh, this work down like on this one that it will even make the scale bigger that was so nice that moment I mean we all the way up we were like facing clouds and snow and clouds and snow you can see a bit of the snow in the picture that were the two ice axes in the snow there is a glimpse of what the snow and the fog was looking we actually couldn't see the top of the mountain for half of the time going up going down the kind of the start to get a bit clear the wind start to blow away and I could actually make these three other beautiful pictures and with the background of the size of the other mountains, the valley, all the snow and nicely Kua has this blue back so make him more visible because all dressing dark was quite hard to to light up on the pictures and on the dark backgrounds. Those were some of the pictures from this trip. Uh, I don't want to extend any further on this. And it will be good to be closing the day. So if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support me. Please let me know in the comments uh, which ones of these pictures you like the most. Next video I will be walking on Santander doing some comparisons between street photography and landscape on the same area those are just two videos uh, of them and have a good one